Okay, this is a quick video to show you how the MLX uh, new framework from Apple, this is like PyTorch, so a new framework from Apple to optimize LLM software, LLM models to run on Apple Silicon machines using the GPU. In this case, we're using the M3 Max with 128 gigs, 40 core CPU, 16 core CPU. This is the max out version. So we're going to be testing the new Mixtral 887B instruction model. And we're going to be see how it run on a, on a Mac, uh, max out version, new M3 Max. So we're going to do here on the right side, I have already set up a Conda environment. And I, you can see the links on the video on the description. If you want to try this yourself, you can just follow the steps. Just copy paste those things, those commands into your terminal and you should be good to go. Keep in mind that you need to have Conda install. Okay, so once you have that, what I'm going to do here is going to launch uh, the Mixtral model that I download from the Hugging Face, and this is the complete model. So it's not a quantized version, which can run. It can run way faster if you run on the computer. This is just a model from Mixtral. We just convert the weights from a normal uh, GPU or GGFU to uh, we convert to MPC, which is the new uh, format that we use for Mixtral for MLX models. Okay, so we convert that, and then I'm going to select the path to the model. The model is around 98 gigs uh, on storage, but it will use around uh, 90 gigabyte of your VRAM. So it's a big model. If you want to run that on an NVIDIA GPU, you probably need an A100 or two A100 because one A100 is like 80 gigabyte. So you need two of those or you will need three A6000, for example. The price for that is a GPU is like $7,000. So just to play around this uh, model, you need a lot of cash or have a Mac that can do the job here. I already saw a video online that they did testing an M2 Max and it, the performance of M3 Max, like I would say like two times faster or three times faster than the M2 Max. So that's a good performance boost from uh, the GPU itself. But let's see how it works here. So we're going to say what's the capital of the USA. Just going to click enter. It's going to run the model. And I'm going to show you here on the right side. So you see I have 128 gigs of memory. And you're going you're gonna to see how it uses all my memory. Okay, I don't have too many things running right now on the recording uh, app, which is Loom, and then um, basically a website on the background. This is using all the memory here, and it's still loading the model. So let's see how much memory I'm going to have after loading it. See, app memory is 74 gigs. It keeps going up and still loading the model. I still don't have a response. So this model, in order to use them, you probably need to quantitize version, which is the, there's a bunch of versions online that you can use for quantitized version. But in this case, uh, I'm using the full version. So it just loaded right now. App memory is 41. Compressed memory is 17. So I mean, I have available right now like 18 gigs of memory. So the model is probably using like 90 gigs of memory. Okay. And it keeps going in this sense because it's not optimized. Um, I mean, the problem is not optimized, but you can see how the model is running. And you see how slow it is compared to other models, especially, for example, GPT-4 or things like that. Okay. So it's pretty fast compared to the M2 Max, I would say, but it's still there's a lot of improvement to it. And you see now the memory is up again and we have full um, memory. All right, so this is a quick test I want to show you here because the thing is I want to show you how things run on Mac and how much money you need to run these things. So if you need a, a, a Mac to run this model, which is an open source, you need around um, $5,000, which is this Mac. And if you need, um, so at that point, it doesn't make sense to have the model running for you. I mean, I understand if you're a project or organization, you want to have this model running on the back end and then deploying to the hardware. But I think there are more better options out there. And at this point, if you use ChatGPT, for example, for the paid version, which is $20 a month, you get much better response, faster running on the cloud. It's much better than spending $5,000 on the machine. So if they want to come up with models like this, they need to run an uh, open source model. They need to be at the level of 3.5 uh, chat GPT and run on your hardware, which it doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. Because, for example, like an RTX 4090, which is around $2,000. That makes sense. And then you can use the models that are at the level 3.5. And a way easier, easier way to use it. And that's my goal here on the channel because you see a lot of channels online telling you, hey, look how this model looks and everything. But then basically you have to pay. They're running these models online on, for example, 2A100 and you pay like $4 an hour. 
to pay that model, to run that model, which is not even optimized. When you start doing smart things for your job, like coding or, or creating real uh, marketing things or helping you with real work, uh, it's not performing as GPT-4 where you can pay for $20. So even though these open source models still looking pretty good, I think they need to make them faster and optimize at least at the level 3.5 in order to make a, a, a good solution for us to use and not pay the $20 that at the moment GPT-4 is offering. Okay, so I will be testing all these models every time they come up. I'm not going to come with the hype that everyone is putting, but just they just want to get videos and views and just give you the real world application. I'm, I'm downloading the model, run it for you, tell you how much memory you're going to use, how much uh, storage you're going to use, and what's the cost of running this model. And to run this model, you need $6,000. That's what this, this Mac costs. Right, the max out version. You can go to Apple and check it out. So it makes sense for you. I don't think it is. You can pay twenty dollars. You get a better interface because on top of that, this is only running on the terminal, and you need to implement that into something else. For example, a website or uh, create like a with Gradio, uh, create something that you can interact with the model. And you're gonna face a lot of issues behind that as well. So the time is money, and you're spending time on it. And on top of that, you're spending money on the hardware, and these things are not working properly, at least for myself. I mean, for what I see here. Now, a good option could be Mistral 7B. That one's looking pretty good. Or you can have a Llama 2 model, for example, 7B or 70 billion. And then you take the model and uh, uh, optimize for your own data with doing uh, fine tuning and things like that, and then deploying to a, to a business. Those things make sense. But the Mistral thing right now, at least for me, if you need a hundred gigabyte of memory to run this model, which is thirty thousand dollars on the A one hundred, it makes no sense for a normal person. Or you can buy a Mac, but then you see how slow it is, and it's not optimized, and there's a lot of headaches on the back end. And you cannot scale this thing. I mean, a lot of YouTubers are just uploading this thing, telling you, "Hey, look how you how you can run mixed rolls A seven B, no real world applications. Uh, you cannot do anything basically with it." And on top of that, you're paying these cloud machines to run this model to give you a very simple example, but you're not making money of it. And it's very complicated to do. Uh, for me, Mixtra is not the way to go. Uh, it's too expensive to run, and it's not optimized at all. For me, I keep using ChatGPT. GPT-4, way better. I can do more things with that. And uh, that's all I have to say. All right, if you uh, like this video, let me know in the comments below. Let's get into a conversation, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.